guys, so I found another video, and um, I'm gonna explain what like happened in Jules' video. Um, she just went on, told us about how it like high school's a living hell, which I can't agree even anymore with that because it is like a living hell, and just because people go out and make fun of others, um, just to put them down, and they they're like on the top, so of course everybody's gonna like them, be like, oh well, he's good looking or she's good looking, so uh. I'm gonna be friends with you while you keep going making others and then join in and keep doing that. And um Jewel just explained what happened to her. Like some guy was making fun of her tits, uh, for the size of her tits, trying to compare it to somebody else. Um somebody else made fun of her looks and then somebody else says she's not Floridian because she's not tan. And to not being tan does not mean you're not from Florida. And like, I'm from Jersey, does that mean I have to be Italian? No. And what people just go out to say to others is just plain off wrong. And I personally hope whatever happens to those kids, I just kind of, I'm not this kind of person, but I hope something bad in the next couple of days happens to these kids. Like, Jewel said she would want the kids to see those vi that video. And I won't. I wouldn't mind watching those kids watch that video too, see how many he comments they got from it. And to me that was one of the most important things though. Just um that she had to get it off her chest and I don't blame her. Um I think we all have to get it off her chest someday. Um today was a day for me I guess. And the reason for me was because of Jewel. And now you guys are gonna probably be like, Oh you're a fanboy because you keep mentioning Jewel. No, I'm not a fanboy. I just respect what she did to go out and tell you guys uh, her feelings of what ha is happening in her life. And that's why people sub to people because they like their content, they like their videos and I'm grateful with the amount of subs I have right now. Like out of nowhere I just gained 10 subs today or if you're watching some other day on January 11th, 2012. Um, and it's just from posting that video about Optic Jewel. Um, I made that as a video response. But why make my videos for is entertain people. And like I show all my friends what I do. Like Call of Duty wise, skit wise, vlog wise. And they all enjoy my uh, content I put out. My best friend that moved to Arizona. He's watching each video I put out. E either it's a skit, a gameplay of Call of Duty, or it's me just being me vlogging talking to people that I love to do and um, like last year also I got made fun of because the sport I play I get made fun of for a lot of things and the sport I play is ice hockey and the thing about that was um, just thinking about like me getting made fun of because the sport I love to play just kind of got me upset um, but what I used that for was I turned that upsetness into me just focusing to get better and better and better but I got caught and the reason for that was I apparently got screwed over according to one of the coaches I got sick during tryouts I tried out none of the coaches um really the new we got new coaches that didn't even know who I was or how I played and last year I finished the season before I got cut with 11 shutouts and 1.5 goals against average and that's pretty good I had three more shutouts than the other goaltender and a better goals against average he had like a 3.25 and don't ask me how all that math works out I don't keep math medical stuff it's the team manager and the whole organization they keep track of your stats and all for that season and after that guys like we had sorry about me saying the like a lot though but um after that we had a team banquet um a few weeks later and the goalie that I played with the season before that I absolutely despise just cause the way he is to people and the way he and what he said to me made me despise him even more um was basically ooh I get killed again by Fred but um what was that he said it's surprising how Jeff's here even though he didn't make the team and the person that told me that and a bunch of people heard that but the one person that told me that was my best friend and my best friend that told me, um, probably like one, one of those best friends that could be like your brother or sister, depending on what you are, 
and it's just that's the kind of friend that everybody wants to have a friend that cares about them and like yesterday he or well, whatever day it was whenever you guys are watching this he posted his wall status to me he said we saw off playing roller hockey as little kids together and though we had some fun memories back then um such as winning the Lacey Roller Hockey Cup and you pushing me into the pool at our roller hockey party. We weren't as close as uh, we became, we've become today. We started hanging out in seventh grade and then uh, seemed the shared horrible homeroom teacher, LOL. But, um, and we seemed to share the same interests as in hockey, Call of Duty, and more video games. Who would know that, who knew you would become one of my best friends as of today? And when I got that message, that's a message anybody wants to see from a friend. And when I saw that message, you guys are going to probably like, oh, you're gay, da, da, da. But after I say this, I started tearing up because, first off, it was hard for me. I don't know if you guys ever had a best friend that moved away. But if you did, tell me if it was hard for you. Because for me, um, this is like a joke we all came up with. Uh, we went through Alex withdrawal, me and uh, two of our other close friends with him. We all went through Alex withdrawal. But um, the day that he moved, because I'm a great best friend. I'm a friend you want to have in life. And what happened was the day that he was leaving, right before he was going to go, I planned on stopping at his house and um, just saying goodbye to him, his brother, um, and his parents. And his brother, guys, um, isn't very that lucky. He's had some major surgeries on his head that, like, prevent his um, growing. And he's, like, eight... He's going to be 18 now, but, man, I love uh, his brother like my own, and that's just saying something. I'm the, I'm part of their family, and they're part of mine, basically, and to me, that's all you need in life is friends and sometimes maybe video games, but definitely friends and family the most, and friends are people you could go to, especially when you get made fun of because there's several times where I thought I was going to want to commit suicide but from just being bullied but because of Alex um even to this day even if I'm depressed and low I just start texting him and he just gets me out of being depressed and that's what friends are there for so guys if you're ever being bullied or you still are just go out there make friends that will be your true friends and if you guys get a true friend they know it be there with you forever. Keep that as a friend because you never know what tomorrow's gonna bring. And like I said, my best friend moved, but my spring break I'm flying out to Arizona, and summertime I'm flying out to Arizona. So guys, if you guys like this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. Um, I love doing this kind of stuff. I um, plan on making a let's get personal number two. I'll put my Twitter down below, my Facebook down below, my fan page for that. Um, what else for you guys? I'm going to put that jewel story down below. And if you guys want anything, just let me know. If you guys ever want to talk to me or get to play with me sometime at Xbox, just hit me up. My gamer tag's the same as it is as my YouTube name. Or if I'm not on that, my second gamer tag's I Spyro Space HD. Um, that's on my channel. So, guys, it's been fun talking to you guys. Nova in, Nova out.